All right, so we're just going to keep working on simplifying different operations with i. In this example, we've got an addition problem and a multiplication problem. So we have the square root of negative 8 plus the square root of negative 18. So we're going to bring in i on this example right away because we have the square root of that negative 1, which is i, square root of 8, plus square root of negative 18 is i square roots of 18. All right, now let's see if we can break down. Now that it's a square root of a positive 8, we can do some simplifying. So 4 fits in twice, so square root of 4, square root of 2. And this turns into 2 square roots of 2, but don't forget we have that i out front that comes down. So this is 2i square roots of 2 plus the square root of 18. We can break down with a 9 and a 2. So this is 3 square roots of 2, but then we have the i. So 3i square roots of 2. All right, so can we combine these? Well, it's a square root of 2 and a square root of 2, and then it's a 2i plus a 3i. So we're going to go ahead and combine these i's. If you have 2i's and you add 3i's to it, you get 5i, and that square root of 2 stays the same. All right, next example, we're going to do some multiplying. So again, we're square rooting negative numbers, so let's go ahead and bring in i, square root of that negative 1, we have i square roots of 8 times i square root of 18. Let's break these down, although we just broke these down on the other one, so we already know that this is a 2i square root of 2 times 3i square roots of 2. All right, so, so all I did was I looked at the last example and noticed it was a square root of 8 and a square root of 18, so we just used the same information. All right, so now when we multiply this, we're going to multiply the like parts. So we have a 2 times 3, which is 6. We have an i times an i, which is i squared. We'll deal with that in a minute. And then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. All right, this i squared we know is negative 1. So we have 6 times negative 1 times 2, which gives us negative 12. 